to get ready for our walk cycle, I've created my little character. He's a little skeleton here. And I began, as we've discussed before, by creating an artboard in Illustrator that is the size of my video. Not necessarily because I need all that space, but mostly just to get a sense of the scale of my skeleton. So you can see that my artboard is actually 1920 by 1080. Probably the most important thing, I know I've talked to you about this prior, but in this case, if you've never done it before, you're going to want to do it now, is to make sure that each layer is named. So named basically on what it is. So there's my hip, left calf, left thigh, etc., etc. So each part is broken down. Every joint has its own layer. I do have an extra uh, face there that I could use if I want him to face forward and so on and so forth. So we're all ready then to go ahead and bring this into After Effects. All right, so now that I've got my Illustrator file all ready, I'm going to import it in the file, choose my skeleton from my Assets folder. Remember, I've already set up a project folder called Skeleton Walk, and inside is a Night Assets folder. And I'm going to import that per usual as a composition, retain layer sizes. And let's take a look at that skeleton composition. Go to the settings, and there it is, eight seconds long, name skeleton. We're good to go. The first thing that we're going to need to do and let's make this a little larger, is to modify this anchor point because if we rotate that anchor point right now it will pivot. Let's take a look at that just to make the point. If I look at it in the layers, well, let's do it with something easier. Here's the first one. So I hit rotation, and if I rotate that arm, you can see that it rotates from that midpoint. So that's not what we would like. So I'm going to zoom in even more so we can really see. We'll do it piece by piece. What I want to do is, using the pan behind anchor point tool, is grab that little anchor point and move it to where the bone should pivot from, or in your case, if it's a shoulder or an elbow or whatever. So I'm just going to go through and make sure that I have these pivoting. Now they can even pivot outside if I want this arm to pivot on that little sort of elbow joint. I can do that. And make sure you get all the different pieces parts. The head is connected. In this case I put it as one piece with the neck, so I'll put that at the base of the neck. And the rib cage I'm going to have pivot with the hips. And ankles, ankles, that would be wrists, <laughs> you know, the hand ankles. And let's go down to where our leg bones are, etc. etc. I'm trying to do this quickly so you know, it's like you don't have to watch every moment of it. But so I'm going to move this actually outside of there so that it pivots sort of on that hip bone. etc etc now I made the composition eight seconds long because there's essentially eight positions in a basic walk cycle so what we're going to do in the next video is make those eight positions but this is our setup so now I've got all of the pieces parts set up in terms of where they will pivot and now what I want to do is something called parenting I'm going to try and open this up a little bit more. Um, you don't really need to see the skeleton to do this. It's more about uh, naming. Remember I said how important the naming is. So I'm going to put the hip layer in the middle. It doesn't really matter. It just helps me to remember where things are because I'm going to connect my thigh bones to the hip and just like that goofy song, right? And I'm going to put my skull 
up at top just again for me to think about it. Now I'm not going to use right now the skull facing front so I'll just turn the eyeballs off on that and I've got the lower and upper arms sort of in order right hand right lower arm okay so calf thigh foot let's put the foot there calf thigh foot good okay so I'm gonna just start with the legs and then I'm gonna turn you loose to do this on your own okay here is my hip bone and you can see that there's this pull down menu here that shows all of the other layers what that is doing is allowing me to do some parenting so thinking about what connects to what I'm going to take the right thigh and I'm going to have it be parented by the not the ribs the hip and then the calf would then parent to the thigh right thigh of course to right hip right calf to etc so right foot then parents to the calf and now that I have my right leg thigh calf and foot parented if I were to go to my thigh here and let's do look a little bit more at this lovely little skeleton guy I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit and move down my trackpad when I try and move down wants to zoom okay that's perfect and what I want to do is just look at the rotation of this thigh and you'll see that when I rotate it because everything is parented it all moves together and so your mission before we jump into the next part which is actually posing our figure in the different walk positions is to go through and parent one part to the next now the only caveat that might be different from your character is that I did a separate rib cage and hips the robot that I gave you to work with and perhaps your own character doesn't separate those but I would recommend that you parent the, the ribs to the hip you can see whatever layer you're on is grayed out so that when we move the hip the entire skeleton will move with that the hips tend to be the center of your walk cycle so that's why I chose to do it that way alright get your parenting done and I'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.